I'm a freaky, freaky bitch. Hey, what is up, guys? I'm going to be talking about my blood drive story and where I passed out and punched the nurse in the face because I didn't drink any fluids before I went, and it was like a Black Ops campaign. So, uh, actually, what I'm going to talk about is a week before. Uh, we were like, oh, it was, it was like junior year, I'm pretty sure, and I was supposed to give blood, and this was going to be my second time giving blood. So, uh, if you guys already gave blood before, you know it's kind of like an easy process. They put it in your arm, and it kind of flows pretty well, as long as you are squeezing that little stress ball type thing. I don't know if they give you that all the time in every place, but I think it's, it's easier to uh, pump the blood out of your vein. Not to gross any people out, but yeah, so they suck you like a whore sucks something else. And yeah, so uh, personally, it wasn't that bad for me all these times. It wasn't bad for me until that time happened. So a week before it, we had to all sign up. Uh, you Actually, I think even be a month you had to sign up before this, but we were a week and we were like, oh, dude, we should all give blood again. That's fun. And I had like a group of three people. We're all going to give blood. And it was pretty straight because uh, that's what we did last year. Uh, or the year before, and we wanted to do it at all the same time, so we'd all be done and be like, alright, nice, now we get to leave early after this, and shit like that. So, uh, we all sign up, I think we had to go through some crazy teacher's room and try to find who had the blood drive, like, sign-up list and all this shit, and I remember, I think the teacher was like a bitch about it or something, or I don't, I don't remember, I don't remember at all. Uh, but, uh, so, two days before this, say, so let's go in time, two days before this, you're like, Dude, uh, you know, we have blood. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I, I remember that. I'll totally remember that. That'd be fine. And then the, when the day comes, uh, I just go into school all normally, all relaxed. I'm pretty sure it was like a normal day, a day before the weekend where I was like, oh, fuck yeah. The school week's almost over. I'm going to be so fucking happy and everything's going to be fine. I'm just going to be, oh, yeah, dude. The weekend, hell yeah. I'm excited for this fucking weekend, dude. And, uh, yeah, so... I come to school like that, I'm like, alright, now I gotta see my friends and all this shit, and, uh, he's, they're like, dude, you, uh, you excited for the blood drive? You, did you drink all this shit? I was like, uh, no, and I was like, they're like, what did you drink yesterday? What did you drink today? And I was like, well, I might have drank, like, a 12-pack Mountain Dew, and, uh, maybe some Mountain Dew this morning, and it's really bad to drink caffeine before you give blood. You're definitely not supposed to do, I think it's 48 hours you're not supposed to drink caffeine because it actually, I'm pretty sure it thins your blood. I'm not sure about this. I'm not a fucking doctor. I'm not a vampire. I don't know anything about this, but I'm pretty sure, or maybe it dehydrates you faster. Yeah, that's what it is. Caffeine dehydrates you and you actually want to be uh, like hydrated as much as possible. So I'm guessing your blood just turns into cottage cheese if you drink caffeine. And uh, yeah, so I drank, I, I was really... Back in the day, I drank a lot of Mountain Dew, so that was usually when I'm gaming. I would just hardcore play, like drink Mountain Dew. It was pretty bad to the point where my teeth were rotting out of my head. All right, so uh, I'm surprised it wasn't sponsored by Mountain Dew. By the time I've drank so much, I think I've drank more than the community actually has ever drank in anything else in their life. So I, I don't know. I don't know. I was just a Mountain Dew whore, if you guys want to say that. So I told them, I was like, yeah, dude, I was I drank was Mountain Dew. I didn't know. I totally forgot. They're like, we told you like two days ago, dude. We told you that you had this. I was like, I don't want to go now because I might like pass out or something bad might happen to me. And I was like, I don't know what to fucking do. What am I supposed to do? Drink a whole bunch of fucking water right now? And they're like, you might as well. You better drink a whole bunch of shit. And they're like, what else did you eat? I was like, I don't eat breakfast. I didn't fucking, I didn't remember, dude. I totally forgot. And they're like, well, you better fucking try eating something or drinking something so i actually drank a bottle of water and it actually i felt a little bit better like about myself <laughs> for not drinking anything but it definitely was not enough all right so we go uh, i think it was like fifth or maybe it was fourth hour uh so we actually go there and we have to sign up and you have to give your weight you have to give your school id to them you have to give your uh whatever the hell you are you have to give your age uh, everything that just kind of whatever like gets you into that area because I'm pretty sure there's a weight limit for your height and shit and a lot of people got denied because a lot of people were like under that weight limit and I know that's kind of disgusting to think but I think it was just if you're really short and you're like say you're 100 pounds you're not supposed to get blood because it could actually seriously hurt you mentally or just your body or something weird like that or you just wouldn't be able to handle it your body just wouldn't be able to handle it at that time 
And, uh, yeah, so, uh, we were given all this shit, and we were all joking around, like, what if we found, what if they found, like, AIDS in one of these people's, like, bodies, or a whole bunch of STDs and shit. Like, because they have to prick your finger, and, uh, actually, they have to prick your finger a couple times, I think. Uh, and it's, like, what, four test tubes they give you, I'm pretty sure. And they have to, fi not fill it up, but, uh, they put a little bit in there. And I'm pretty sure that's where they test, uh, your, I don't know if that, I don't think they test your STD. I'm not sure about that, but I know they test your glucose level, your, uh, all that weird plasma level and shit like that. And, uh, yeah, so that's, that's pretty much what we did after that. And I was the first one to get called, I'm pretty sure. I'm not too sure about that, so don't quote me, someone... Someone, whoever was there, you can tell me. I don't remember. But, so, I, I got called, and uh, we were all lying down, and uh, th I'm, I'm really fine when they uh, give me it. It's nothing about the needles. Nothing has to do with anything about just giving the feeling of giving blood. Uh, some chick actually came around and gave me a teddy bear to hold on to uh, because I was just like, uh, I don't know, it, I guess she was trying to flirt with me or something she was like that weird senior chick that everyone's kind of like she's kind of popular but kind of weird at the same time and i was like uh, i've never even talked to you in my life i didn't tell her this but i was like uh, this is kind of awkward she's being really really nice to me and i wasn't sure if she's trying to flirt with me or that was just her little thing to do but i was the only one she gave me shit to so i was like maybe she's designated to that area or that table or that whatever that bed that gurney whatever the hell it is i don't know maybe she was just designated that but she gave me a teddy bear and i was like this is strange all right i'll hold it i guess and she kept coming around she's like do you want anything do you want anything to drink do you want anything to eat i was like nah i'm feeling fine and uh she's like did you give any blood before and i was like yeah i have actually and uh both the uh, old lady the old lady that is the one that was nursed to actually give my blood uh she once she did it she's like yeah so did you give blood before i'm like yeah i did uh, she was like, so did you ever feel like kind of woozy or she was talking about what I ate or whatever today and I kind of lied to her. I was like, yeah, I drank, I drank like a couple, what, 30 ounces of water. So I, I don't know how much, I don't know how much she was supposed to drink, whatever. Some, I, I drank a gallon of water. I said some bullshit like that. And she's like, oh, okay, okay, you'll be fine. And uh, she was like, so did you ever feel like you're going to faint before? I was like, well, I did feel kind of woozy before and they put me back down. She's like, oh, okay, well, if that ever happened, just let me know. And, uh, so, everything was going smooth. I was getting my blood flowed, and you have to squeeze that little stress ball thing, and to pump blood out of your veins. And, uh, yeah, so, I think it's like five minutes you pump a bag full of blood. I think it's, I don't know how many ounces, maybe eight ounces of blood. I, know, I think that's a lot. I'm not sure. But the bag looked pretty fucking big, and I could still kind of feel it right now in my vein. Like, that weird, oh, that weird feeling right now. I can just feel that. So, it, nothing happens to me when I'm giving the blood. It's totally fine, everything's cool, and I'm just like, alright, this is giving the blood, I'm fine, I'm done with it. So when I'm done with it, she's uh, that one girl comes around again, she's like, you want anything to drink? They give me coke and stuff. I don't know why coke is like some thing they give me. I, I thought caffeine's supposed to dehydrate you. I don't know, maybe it's just the sugars and shit in it. I'm guessing that's what it is. So, actually, uh, let's do this really fast. I actually uh, pass out, and uh, Black, if you know the Black Ops campaign where everything's going, they're like... The numbers! What are they saying? 6, 11, 25, 14. Like that, except there was transitions going in front of my face, the doctors were yelling my name, and it was echoing in my head, blood was rushing in my head, I could hear it all, and it's just like, like some crazy, some crazy ass noise that was going on, I was like, what the fuck is going on, I was like, I could feel myself pulsing back and forth, and supposedly I punched the nurse in the face, and uh, supposedly I was green while all this was happening, and I finally wake up, and I have all these doctors around me, wet towels on my head and my neck, and uh, I finally get out of it, and they're like, I was like, what happened, what happened? They're like, you passed out, and everybody was looking at me in the thing, and I felt so awkward, but I guess this is what happens, and I should have drank liquid before this, and yeah, so, uh, after that, I ended up eating a whole bunch of shit, and it was at the end of the day, so I went home happy, and a little scared at the same time, and yeah, so, I hope you guys like this story, this was me punching a nurse in the face when I blacked out after giving blood at a dry, a uh, fucking... What is it? Blood drive. Yeah, there we go. But yeah, so I hope you guys like this. Uh, if you guys want to hear any more high school stories, let me know, and I will get to that right away. And I hope you guys like this video, and this has been your boy Freaky. Like if you guys want, and I'm out, guys. Peace.